And with more than 120,000 people expected to flock to Salt Lake City next week, businesses are also gearing up here. News specialist Matt Rascone spoke to a couple of them, including a new sports bar near Vivint. Yeah, from Vivint Arena to the Salt Palace and everything in between, there will be plenty of events and pop-up shops, and our local businesses are hoping to get in on the action. If you've been in downtown Salt Lake City recently, we're getting prepared. It's hard to miss what's coming. The NBA All-Star signs, the beginning of road closures, and across the street from Vivint Arena, the vibe, the energy has, has definitely changed. The break sports grill. We are in the epicenter, obviously, of, of all things All-Star. Getting ready for a boost in business. So next week, we are expecting things to get a little crazy. Stephen Pack has had his eye on the All-Stars since before he opened the sports bar two months ago. You can definitely get the feel of All-Star weekend here. The Utah Jazz is expecting similar All-Star numbers as Cleveland saw last year. That's 121,000 people from 45 states and 24 countries a $250 million total economic impact. It just boosts our economy, you know, which is phenomenal. Keeps It's what keeps us in business. Martin Norman expects more visitors will mean more people looking for a piece of Utah from his uniquely Utah souvenir shop. We're starting to uh, get some good backstock coming because we're anticipating, you know, a, a good flow of people. While much of the business will come from visitors. People love the food, people love the drinks. Peck says they're bringing in extra help from their other locations to make sure they can continue to serve their local customers. Matt, so follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we definitely want to take care, like I said before, our locals. We want to take care and make sure that the people of Utah feel like they, they are part of this party. Peck told me a legend would be at the sports bar next Friday to sign autographs. They and other businesses are also doing giveaways and other things throughout the week, just hoping to help make it a good time for visitors and locals. Matt Rascone, KSL 5 News.